Kaplan says he's being discriminated against because he is too religious to suit the tastes of higher-ups in the chain of command. Our news military reporter Mike Gooding joins me now with these details. Mike? Well, and David, this isn't the first time these types of allegations have been lodged. A group of evangelical Protestant chaplains is already suing the Navy in federal court. They claim they were passed over in favor of Roman Catholics and mainline Protestants. But former USS Anzio chaplain Gordon Klingenschmidt isn't suing anybody. He just wants to go back to sea, minister to sailors, and follow the scripture as his heart compels him. You know, it, just looking at these ships makes me uh, care more about my sailors. I wish I could be back out at sea with them. Lieutenant Gordon Klingenschmidt says he's being punished with shore duty for theological disputes with superior officers. The former USS Anzio chaplain objected to requiring sailors to attend services in a civilian church that accepts homosexuality. Other squabbles between the chaplain and Navy higher-ups include Klingenschmidt demanding that a Jewish shipmate be served kosher meals and his preaching sermons that invoke the name of Jesus Christ. I quoted John 3.36 and I said, uh, if anyone has the Son, he has eternal life. Well, two senior chaplains said that I shouldn't preach those scriptures in the chapel because they're not inclusive scriptures and I might offend somebody who is not a Christian. The Navy Chaplain Corps traces its history to 1775 and today ministers to sailors from Catholicism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Orthodox Christianity, Protestantism, and other faiths described as Baha'i, Confucianism, Taoism, and Wicca. But Klingenschmidt suggests it seems there's no room in the Navy for his brand of evangelical Episcopal ministry and that what the Navy wants is religious conformity. I should be answering to my civilian bishop for religious matters and not to senior ranking chaplains of a different faith group. Fleet Forces Command has launched an inspector general investigation into the chaplain's discrimination complaints. Surface Forces Atlantic Lieutenant Commander Charles Owens tells 13 News that the probe will take from a week to a month to complete. He says we will determine if there's anything to the allegations. If so, the legal process will take its course. Klingen Schmidt has been in the Navy Chaplain Corps for three years. Prior to that, he was an officer in the United States Air Force for 11 years. And he has a website that you can link by going to our website, wvec.com. David.